Okay, all right. Hi, everybody. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. It's time for a weekly track roundup where I go over a bunch of songs that have dropped over the past week or so. Give my opinion. They are all linked down below so you can check them out for yourself, whether I loved them or hated them or felt somewhere in between. Uh, that is pretty much that. So let's get into it. Uh, also down there is our Turntable Lab link. We get kickback from it if you use it to buy some turntable stuff, some vinyl, some whatever. Check them out. Hit the link up. Also hit up our Patreon page if you want to support us over there and get some extra bonus monthly content in the process. That would be great too. Uh, our YouTube Shorts page is linked below as well. Follow that. And also a shout out uh, that comes by way of Austin who wants you guys to check out this uh, uh, new Arvo Pert project, Tractus. Uh, she says it's kind of the first big ECM release from Pert for, uh, in a whole decade. Eight revamped pieces from the composer that work together nicely and are really pretty in her humble opinion. All right, so uh, there's the recommendation there. The shout out, worst tracks coming at you. Uh, we have a handful of those. They are as follows. Uh, one, Megan the Stallion, Cobra. As you guys remember, love, love, love this new single from Megan. Good production, great flows, personal you know, angle to all the bars and everything like that. But what we have here now is a rock metal remix uh, with jet guitars from the band Spirit Box. And uh, yeah, I cannot stand it. No, this is uh, definitely not the way I want to hear this song. <laughs> I will leave it there. All right. Uh, also, not really getting much out of this new Kodak Black track, let me see, which I think is uh, pitifully awkward. And the production carries. I just wish more interesting rapper was on this beat. That's all I can say. Um, just Kodak doesn't really bring much to the table anymore. And, uh, you know, he, he barely did to begin with. But now, I mean, there's no energy. There's no coherence. Uh, there's nothing really kind of keeping me on the edge of my seat wondering what Kodak is going to do or say next. Uh, it's just quite disappointing, honestly. All right, moving on from there. A uh, really odd cover art from Jack Harlow, but he has a new track out. Loving on me is the title of it. And, uh, you know, he's going for a bit of a pop rap dance crossover on this one. Um, w will it go off on TikTok? Possibly. Probably. Uh, do I think his rapping is uh, rapping on the track is good? No. Do I think the songwriting is standout? No. I mean, it's got some grooves. It's got some vibes. I don't really think it has uh, much else. I think it's pretty average, pretty lackluster, uh, certainly more average and forgettable and basic and plain uh, to the ears than anything an artist of Jack's stature uh, should be dropping at this point. So many years in uh, to being in the limelight, I will say that. All right, meh. The tracks I was very uh, on the fence about, they are as follows. Uh, Trippy Red has a brand new EP out. I've grabbed a track from it titled 7 a.m. in Ohio. Uh, there wasn't really a song on this thing that I could pick out that stood out to me. This one is just kind of some just general auto croon stuff. Uh, nothing terrible, nothing amazing. It's just kind of very middle of the road for Trippy, in my opinion. Uh, we have one from Tierra Whack who I'm really excited has dropped a new track, looking forward to possibly a new album uh, coming down the pipe. Uh, Chanel Pitt is the title of it. Some silly bars on it, but honestly, uh, even if there is a quirky start to this track and some funny lyrics here and there, and also on top of it, Tierra Wax uh, trademark you know, vocal delivery, um, I'll say as a song overall, it just feels very dry, very underwritten, uh, like the beat could be more colorful uh, or more layered or something, especially as it progresses along, but it never really reaches a point of build or gratification or anything. It just kind of stays very uh, skeletal and low key to uh, a fault, I would say. And I felt like, um, you know, just could have used a little bit more something as it was moving along. Tierra Whack is starting tracks, uh, newer tracks that I've been hearing pretty strong, but not necessarily ending them strong. Uh, and that's what's uh, kind of holding you back from really kind of being into uh, some of the more recent stuff since Whack World. Uh, we have a new one from uh, Slater Kinney. Say it like you mean it. Uh, it just kind of sounds like the band has gone from being one of the most fiery and interesting indie rock outfits out there to just like some very basic NPR adult contemporary rock. I don't really know what else to say. It's just uh, very underwhelming and, and really kind of needs... Uh, something, some punch, some, some pizzazz, some something. 
Uh, moving on from there, we have a track I grabbed from the new Pink Panther S record, which is out now by the way. Uh, nice to meet you is the title. Um, pretty much everything in terms of like the dance beats, the cutesy vocals, uh, the songwriting that you would expect from a Pink Panther-esque track, but um, maybe, you know, recorded, produced in such a way where it's more high gloss, uh, more clarity. Uh, it's really, though, the central C feature on this track that um, really kind of holds it back and is a bit basic and uh, boring, in my opinion. Uh, moving on from there, I want to shout out this uh, new track with uh, Sampha and Tirza, uh, produced by Quest, a uh, UK electronic music producer who has been uh, uh, tasked with uh, doing the soundtrack for this new Rye Lane movie. So, uh, you know, soundtrack is out. The Sampha track is featured on it. It's a cool little duet, you know, not blowing me away or anything like that, but it's, uh, you know, pleasant to the ears for sure, for sure. Check that out if you're, you know, uh, a Sampha hardcore and you got to hear everything that he does. Uh, we have Hemlock Springs, who has uh, uh, come through with a rendition of Christmas Time is Here, which, um, you know, <laughs> I'm not crazy about. Uh, it's a bit sloppy. It's a bit messy. But I feel like uh, maybe there was some pressure here to come out with this track in a very quick fashion or something like that. But um, I, I will say this. Springs puts on. Uh, that trademark quirk, you know, for uh, uh, this rendition of the song. So, you know, at, at least there's that. At least there's that. Uh, best tracks of the week. We have a handful of those. I want to shout out really quickly. Uh, one, Ty Siegel. He's got a new track out, My Room, third taste of uh, his forthcoming LP. And this one's got like a, you know, kind of a chirpy quality to the electric guitars. It's kind of a ballad. It's low key, but it's kind of surreal and psychedelic too. Uh, like in the song at the core, at the core of it as well. Uh, seems like Ty is gearing up for uh, another good one. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Uh, we have a, a new one from Julia Holter, Sun Girl, which is a multi-phased dream pop epic that is uh, quite surreal, in my opinion. Beautiful song. Beautiful single, uh, kind of seems like she's, you know, embracing that abstract, non-linear song progression, um, you know, direction that she was uh, very much going for on her last record. And, um, you know, I, I think coming out with some stronger material with it, I think this is a very good single uh, for Julie. Of course, it's got that uh, heavenly, blissful amazing, just uh, uh, astonishing, you know, production sheen on it as well that usually makes her stuff sound super magical. Uh, Dua Lipa Houdini, really liking this track. It's a great piece of dance pop, really good chorus, really good vocals, uh, really lush, colorful production. Uh, Dua Lipa is also gearing up, I hope, for a, uh, another strong album drop uh, with more songs like this coming down the pipe. Uh, it's probably going to be one of the best pop records of the year. I'll say that. And uh, we have a new one from Cording as well, who have come through with, you know, I'll say a by the numbers indie rock track, but the performance is so good and the songwriting is so sharp that I feel like it just kind of overcomes it. Uh, the vocals are solid as well. Um, you know, even though I wasn't crazy about the last courting album, felt a little all over the place, um, a little disjointed uh, and uh, disheveled. Uh, this song over here itself is, for sure is a, a pretty sharp uh, indie rock track. That's for sure. All right. And uh, lastly, uh, shout out to 070 Shake, who with none other than Ken Carson, Ken Carson, who you guys know, I'm, I'm not the biggest Ken Carson fan or anything like that. Uh, together with Ken Carson has come through with a, a, a serious banger, Natural Habitat. Uh, crazy linear progression on this one. Big Yeezus vibes, I would say, at some points of the song. Uh, Shake sounds fantastic on the track. Ken is a little sloppy. It's a little raw, but given how loud and distorted and just uh, nuts the beat sounds... Um, I think it kind of fits. I think it kind of fits Ken's aesthetic. I think it brings uh, almost like the, you know, the pomp and the grandiosity and the volume and the aggression of a rock track of, you know, like, um, you know, a, a rage type track without necessarily sounding uh, as repetitive or as low production as a lot of that rage stuff typically does. I feel like uh, 070 Shake kind of created something big and explosive uh, without, um, you know, uh, falling into some obvious, you know, I'll, I'll say cl production cliches is, is, is what I'll say. Um, you know, given that Ken's in the mix, given the obvious Yeezus uh, influence on this one. So uh, respect. It was a, you know, banger of a track. Banger of a track. All right. Um, that is going to be it, I think, uh, for this edition of the Weekly Track Roundup. Thank you very much for watching. You're the best. You're the best. 
Hopefully you got some good recommendations out of this video. Uh, love you very much. And I will see you in the next one. Anthony Fantano, Weekly Tracks Forever. <laughs>